Fight Live returns to Channel 5 this Friday. Two of Britain's most exciting super lightweights collide at London's legendary York Hall. Don't miss Eubank vs Farrell this Friday on Channel 5. I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. Let's see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying completely different ball game. I'll walk away from me and this has been like a therapy session. Oscar Bevis, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Velasco. Well, Tony, boxing works in mysterious ways. We've gone over it so many times, a heartbreak of Liverpool. And yet now, one of the biggest wins of John's career on away territory. Um, yeah, boxing does work in weird ways, doesn't it? It does, you know, and uh, boxing's like life. It's like up and down, you know. And uh, like you say, in Liverpool, when everyone fought John White, beat Callum Smith that night, you know, and if he, if he did, he would have fought, fought Canelo next. But, uh, you know, the Canelo fight's there for him now. You know, he's mandatory for the WBO title. And obviously, it's a WBO interim title. So if Canelo doesn't uh, defend, then obviously John gets elevated for, to full world champion. But I think uh, I think Canelo, by the sounds of it, will uh, will defend against John, hopefully in May, hopefully at Wembley. So uh, what a great, great uh, achievement that would be, you know, to, uh, for Canelo to come to Britain. How massive would that be, you know, for John to be in the opposite corner against him? And, you know, if, any, if anyone's deserved it in his career and his life, he's stuck at it. You know, and uh, I think you see tonight the levels in boxing, you know, uh, as much respect I have for Zach Park, he hasn't really boxed anybody, you know, elite world level, you know, and I think it showed tonight. He's, uh, you know, uh, John was just walking him down and, uh, the inevitable you know, was on the wall, but, uh, you know, I wish Zach all the best with his hand injury and, you know, and I'm sure he'll come again. He's still young. Yeah, I think, well, that was going to be my next question. It was perhaps apparent the levels between a world level fighter like John or someone who hasn't stepped up to, to that level yet. Although kind of it wasn't an ending anyone would have expected beforehand, in the four rounds we did have, did it go as you had expected? Yeah, you know, before and I just said to John, like, he's going to be nervous, the kid. He ain't been in, like, a, this little elite level fighters yet, you know, and uh, just keep pressing him, pressing him, making him work, making him throw, you know, and you could see, really, after three or four rounds, he was already getting tired. And, uh, you know, I think everyone could see the writing was on the wall. John started catching him a few couple of big shots, and he just looked strong in there, John. He's a very strong man, you know. He's hard to, he's hard to hold him off. You see it in the Callum... Smith fight, you know, and, uh, you know, elite level fighter like Danny Jacobs, he's hard to hold off, so he keeps pressing you, you know, he makes you throw punches that you don't, he makes you do stuff, work that you don't want to do, you know, and, uh, you know, you could just see there what, what the writing was on the wall. Well, a lot was spoken about the size of Zach Parker, and again, if we're linking it back to the Callum Smith fight, people can look at size and, I suppose, a big, big and does beat a big, little and, as they say, um, but it looks like John is a fighter. He's made for fighting people bigger than him. It just he seems more comfortable fighting them than bigger guys. Oh, I don't think he's got much choice. You know, he's <laughs> like five foot nine, isn't he? But he's built like a tank. And uh, you know, I think the fight against Canelo, you know, they're the same sort of stature and the same makeup. I think it'd be a good fight because John won't be uh, backing off from Canelo. He'll stay in, stay in ring centre, as I say. He's a strong boy, defensively smart. You know, and uh, he can bang as well. So. You know, it'd be a great fight. Just one more thing on a personal note for yourself. Obviously, it hasn't been the easiest couple of months. Um, but just to end with John winning tonight um, on a sort of personal satisfaction level, that just must feel brilliant. Yeah, it's brilliant, you know. And uh, as you say, like, you know, things that have happened outside the ring to our gym, you know, uh, Joe Caldino and Conor Ben, things have happened outside the ring that, you know, uh, that no one's in control of. But, you know, inside the ring my stable ain't been beat this year you know we've had all great wins this year so uh you know i, I believe that um you know we'll we'll bounce all of them will bounce back joe will be back after his hand he's mandatory for uh racking of and you know and i believe conor ben will be back he's innocent of all or anything so you know i believe them two will be back in the ring you know in the new year
Fight Live returns to Channel 5 this Friday. Two of Britain's most exciting super lightweights collide at London's legendary York Hall. Don't miss Eubank versus Farrell this Friday on Channel 5. I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife, I'm saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from here and this has been like a therapy session.